Frank. Hi. It's been it's been a moment. Uh, it's been so long. long. Yeah, it really has been. Oh. Yeah. Um. Again, life has just been happening. I don't know if that happens to y'all, but it happens. It's been happening here. So. Jeez, I can tell you a thing or two about life and its happenings, and I am not a fan right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> so today I'm Brita Fred. We're going to take you guys into the kitchen and do a... Uh, what you going to do? We're going to try and do a little thing a thing with the uh, bread and things and call it a thing a thing. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. We're going to make some French toast. What had happened, y'all? That backstory about this French toast situation. Mm. So after church today, we went to this really dope uh, Italian restaurant called Cronelli's. It's actually the bomb.com. So today only they had this French toast special that we just happened to be there for. We was all like, oh my gosh, this thing is so good. But Vaughn was like, and his feelings. Like, I could do this too, y'all. I could do this too, y'all. And so, literally, he was in his whole feelings the whole time. He's like, you know what? Instead of doing whatever it is we're going to do today, let's do some French toast. So he wanted to show y'all how to do it because we were raving about these yeah. French toast at the restaurant today. And he was feeling some type of way. I was feeling some type of way. Right? Wow! So... My feelings. Yeah, what was your right? feeling? I was sitting there minding my own business. At this restaurant, the rest of us was eating. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. mm. So, no. I wasn't in my feelings about it. <laughs> it. It came out. My point or my focus is there's so many things that we can do. Why are we spending so much time relying on going to an establishment and saying, Oh my gosh, this is like the greatest thing ever. When you can just easily do it at home. And it's going to cost you a fraction of what you paid for it okay. in that establishment. And I guarantee you, take, when you make it, it tastes way better. Okay, well, not all of us have the capabilities to be able to do that. And therefore, we enjoy going to the establishments where it's already pre-done, where we just pay the monies and then they provide us the services. That's fair. Because I can't make that French toast. I mean, maybe today I will because you're about to show us. Mm. Right? If it's that easy and simple, like, I'm going to take notes, and I'm going to try to make this next time. I'm not going to have you taste it because I don't, yeah, you, you be judging me real tight, and we don't want this problem. <laughs> I have Jared or something like that come and taste it, but not you. So. All right. Well, then, with all that being said, let's take it over to the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, we're actually doing this right now. Yeah. Wash your hands. Yeah, you wash it thoroughly because you never know, you know, what kind of bacteria was grown up since the morning. You know. Always use a serrated knife when cutting bread. Don't use a straight blade. Um, you're not gonna get anything, you're just gonna crush your bread. So what we're doing here is we're cutting this loaf of bread uh, about a half an inch thick or a half an inch in thickness. Um, you can cut it thicker or you can cut it thinner. It's completely up to you. Preference in bread to use, a French loaf. If not a French loaf, you can use a brioche. Uh, where would you find a brioche, you ask? You can go to Panera, sometimes they have them there. Or you can send me a, a message, drop us a line, and I'll, I'll give you a recipe for brioche. Or if you're froggy like I am, you can get a bunch of croissants, cut them up, make a bread pudding, and then use that bread pudding, that croissant bread pudding as your bread base for your croissant. Bread's cut. Let's move on. 
We just want to dry the bread out just a bit. So we don't necessarily need to do anything else. You could butter it if you like, but I think that will add all sorts of great flavors, but at the same time, not necessary. So what's the purpose of drying the bread? So that it will soak up all of the lovely custard that we're about to go. Got it. Okay. How long do you put it in there for? Until it's toasted. <laughs> what does that look like? Until it's golden brown. Until it's golden brown. Okay. Golden brown. Golden brown. All right. Okay. So, next step, we got our bread in the oven, toasting it off. We want to pull that out once it's golden brown or uh, just kind of like, what, hard to the touch, but not so hard that you can chip a tooth. Okay. That would be a bad situation. I love my tea. Next up, since we've got the bread in the oven, we're going to start with making the custard, the base for our French toast. You do not have a good French toast without there being a custard. Got it, got it's it. not your typical, like we do here, where you take a couple eggs, you crack it open, sprinkle some cinnamon on it, and pour some sugar on it, and call it good, and dip your eggs, and your, your bread in your eggs, and fry it. We're not doing That's that. That's what I'm doing. We're stepping it up. Oh, level up! This okay! Is elevated. elevated. So I hope you're ready. Let's jump on in. Okay, let's go. Whisk for me. That's the whisk, yes, right? That's the whisk. <laughs> <laughs> <Not under. laughs> so, you got a whisk. I got our ingredients already kind of portioned out here got a cup and a quarter of heavy cream. This is just regular schmegler heavy cream. Just regular schmegler heavy okay, cream. No it, sugar, it. no preservatives, no. <laughs> okay, okay. And then a cup of milk. Got it. You got a quarter cup of sugar. And I use a quarter cup because we don't want it to be like overly sweet. And don't waste your product. There's still tons of cream left. Right, that's, of, uh, you, want, you want this? Yes, please. What is that called? This is a rubber spatula. A rubber, rubber spatula. Okay. Get all of that out of there. That's how we do it in the Caribbean as well, too. We don't let nothing go to waste. <laughs> Every drip is about to make it on that, on that whatever this is called. What is this? Pan. Pan. A pan. <laughs> that's so, pan. No one else is going to tell you to do this, but this is how I do it. I always just go right into the pan with my eggs before it gets hot. So there's, you can do it in separate increments. Most people, they'll heat their cream, start their custard. I just go all in with everything, bring it all up to temperature at once. And then as it's cooking, it will thicken up. Instead of having to go and get a double boiler and heat your, well, heat your milk and whip your eggs in something different and then bring it to temp. It's, it's not pointless, but if you know what you're doing, then you can just go straight in and then do it all as, as well. How long do you keep stirring this thing? So I stir it until it starts, one, we're cooking it because we just added raw eggs. Got it, got it, got it. And then it. two, we want to cook it until it thickens up. I'll ah. show you here in a sec what the consistency should look like. <coughs> in the pastry world, it's called Macbeth glass. Oh, c'est français? Oui. Do you speak? Okay, you don't. That's all you know. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm that's, gonna... <laughs> that's all you know. <laughs> I, I speak kitchen French. Oui, Yeah. Don't you? Like creme brulee. <laughs> Just because you say it with a French accent doesn't necessarily make it French, but okay, we don't go there. But I speak French, so that's how you okay, say you it. Speak creme French. brulee. Okay, let's focus. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Can you actually use this cream for other, anything else other than French toast? Yes, you can actually use this very same thing to make ice cream. Exact, ice cream? Yes, this is the basis for your ice cream. Hold up, hold up. It starts like this? Yes. Before you make ice cream and then you, put, you just put it in the fridge? 
No, no for the ice cream, I'm afraid. <laughs> you make the custard, and then you either get an ice cream maker, a machine uh -huh. that will spin it, or you can get a jar um, and put it in the jar with some ice. Got it. Well, two parts. So a bag in the jar. Yeah. The jar has ice, the bag has the custard, and you just you toss it. Interesting. Or you can get a, a churner for an ice cream cranker. That sounds like a lot of work. That sounds like a lot of work. Or you can be as fancy as, as me and just get an ice cream maker. You can get one for 50 bucks. What are you looking for? Can I when try you cross your fingers through, it should not. Oh. It should be a slow drip. So hold up, this is a and fast drip? I don't know the difference. Let me see the slow drip. One more, one more game. It's not there yet, right? <laughs> no, it's done. Oh. If I left this on the stove right now, it would continue to cook. So. This is what it is. I'm genuinely. So, we grab some ice to try and cool this down so it does not mix it up. Wow. It's already thickened up. I just don't want it to curdle like scrambled eggs. So oh, because I, guess, I get why. I see what you're saying. It's soft. Because we want it to be saucy. Saucy. Got it. I don't feel like I'm. This is your. This is the sauce I made, y'all. You know. <laughs> you know. This is cool. Can you taste this, Anna? Right it's probably hot. Good? That's true. Would it taste good? I want to taste it. I did can I? Can I taste it? Vanilla. I was gonna, I was gonna include that. You can Later. add, you can add flavoring, whatever flavor. I want to taste want it though. Point. Can I taste it? Sure. So you're adding vanilla. Yeah, I'm just adding about a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, vanilla paste. I don't um, know they've made paste of vanilla. Yes, there's vanilla extract, there's vanilla essence, there's vanilla paste, and then there's the vanilla bean itself. I like the bean because I have that at Starbucks. So if you want, you can add vanilla. Sometimes I like to add rum. This is good. Um, you put rum in your first oh, Yeah. This man over here trying to get crunk all day, a uh, day. Even on your French toast, homie. This is good. This is really good. Cool. Wow. So, again, that is the basis for our French toast. That's not bad at all. So that's what you meant by toasted. Mm. Huh. Looks good. Yeah. A nice and toasted. Bread, just look right in. Oh. So you're gonna like let it do the thing in there and then you're gonna fry it? Yes, sir. So we just completely cover it, it's mother. Can you just eat it like that? Um, you could, but then the custard doesn't get into the bread at this point. Got it, okay. This I will never rush it. So you don't let, just dip and fry. Uh, you soak. You soak. Okay. So so that the bread can get a little bit soggy. So the bread is soggy? Yes. Ah. And then you lift it out of there, and then you get some butter in your skillet. Either cast iron or, or I like to use stainless steel. Got it. Okay. Um, and then get your butter in there and put your bread down and just pan fry that until it's like golden. Okay. And delicious. The bread a little soggy now? It is. It smells really good. How long do you let it cook for? Till it brown? Until it brown. So this is for taste and for presentation. Mm. Okay. 
But I like that though, right? As opposed to just using the syrup, I like using that because that was really tasty. Okay. Wow. So that's how French toast is supposed to look like? Is this that what you're trying to tell me? Exactly. Whipped cream. You could, you could, and you could. But I got no whipped cream. And I got no powder sugar. Got it. Okay, no, this is good. So, do we dig in? Please, try it. Let Father, me know. bless this here. food in Jesus' name. Amen. Give me your, your, your tidbits. You want me to provide you? Oh, okay, okay. I like sauce. Haitians like sauce and everything. Okay. Haitians are some saucy people. Tell, do tell. I mean, your face said a lot, but the good. words aren't coming out of your mouth. This is pretty good. I have no words. This is a, this is pretty good. I'm not just saying it because you're my friend. Because I wouldn't just lie to you like that. I appreciate it because I'm trying to punch you in the mouth today. It's really good. It's so creamy. Yeah. Puffy. There you are. Wow. So, can you do some more and I'll take it home? For tomorrow morning. Totally. <laughs> this, yeah, can I have some more sauce? I don't know. Sure. I was gonna use this for the beans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, this is how I do French toast. It starts with a custard, toasted bread. Soak the bread in the custard. Take the bread after it's been soaked in the custard, put it in the pan. And fry it. Once it's done, bon appetit. Yo, Enjoy. This is really good. Wow, you see this? Dripping! I was like, can you use that to like? I will slap you into next week. <laughs> <laughs> you said we could use it for anything and everything. Maybe I was thinking like you could cook the chicken and then you could dip it in there so you want with a, some a flour. Sweet, uh, I'm not doing that. Uh, <laughs>